Hi everyone, Steve here. Uh, first off, sorry about this video. It's a bit laggy. I'm not too sure what my computer is doing. It doesn't like this. Um, but in this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to token gate an IRL event using token proof. Um, if you don't know token proof, they're a really cool, cool product. Um, a cool team as well. A team of about 11 of them started about the start of this year. Um, they're really fast moving. They're doing some crazy good things, um, but they're a token gating service. So they token gate IRL as well as upcoming will be online as well. Um, that goes into another realm of instead of using your wallet connect, you can use a token proof to vouch that you have a token. It's going to be really, really good. So you have the safety of connecting to these random experiment web three projects without kind of jeopardizing your wallet. Um, anyway, into the IRL part of things, um, you so far, you have to have a PO app that you want to token gate into the event. So you can issue one that you already have. Um, I've got a tutorial on how to sell your PO apps or how to monetize your PO apps through a guild. So you can charge these as tickets. So you can create a PO app through a guild, put it into your Discord or send people links to claim your PO app and do a fixed price. Um, so instead of going through Eventbrite or whatever ticketing service you use, you create a PO app with a price to it and then you use this service here to token gate it. So for starters, it's on an email basis. Um, so you have to shoot them an email to say what you want to do, what you're token adding, and all that kind of thing. So I've just done a quick draft, and this is similar to what I sent them the first time. Um, so what we got here is collabs at tokenproof.xyz, and you want to go into what you're trying to do, what are you trying to token gate. So type IRL location, so Brisbane, Australia, um, audience, there's going to be 100 people rocking up at this event, uh, the event date and time, and then kind of the scenario. Um, so I want to say, hey, guests that hold this event are only the ones allowed to access the IRL venue. So once you shoot that off to them, um, you'll receive an email back from them, and I'll go into what that looks like in a second. So what we got here is this is the email that they'll send back to you once you've submitted all those details. So it includes a step-by-step -step guide on how to set it up next, but I'll go through that with you as well. But the important things here is the key and the pin. Okay, so the next steps you've got to do is download the Verifier app um, and then the user app. So they're both called Token Proof in the App Store. One has the Verifier logo, one has the normal logo. Uh, we'll explore first into the Verifier app. We'll get that set up. So give it a click, click Start. Go and enter verification policy key. So this is now reading off your email. And then you want to type in the key that you received. And then click import. And then type in the pin that you received as well. So now you're linking up to that power. And then click OK. And then click OK. And then that verifying app is ready to scan. So that's the Verify app done. And now we'll go into the user app. So once we've downloaded the user app, um, this is the app that all your participants that will use when they come up to your event. Uh, in this app, it will show them a QR code and that's what you scan with the Verify app. So first step is downloading the token proof user app, which I already showed you in the previous step. Um, but the next, once you've done that, you click on your MetaMask. So go ahead, click on that and then go the browser, and then Google token proof, go on the website, click launch app, and then it'll connect to the wallet in your MetaMask, click on reissue, continue, sign, and then it will load. So this now is gonna to link to your app. Um, put your wallet into the app. So then go tap here, and then all right, there you have it. So the MetaMask wallet is now connected to your token proof app. Um, when you click on one of these wallets inside the app here, it will display a QR code that changes a few times a second. Um, this is the QR code that will be scanned by the verifier, say standing at the door at the gated venue. Um, he'll scan it, it will come up with a green tick saying, hey, this wallet does contain the PO app for entry or a red uh, cross saying, no, this doesn't contain the PO app. Um, which we'll go into next. So Fon's the absolute legend. Uh, I recorded a quick call with him demonstrating this, what it looks like on the app, and kind of give you first hand on 
how a issuer, how a verifier comes up to a user's app and scans it. So we'll go into that now. And thank you very much for listening to this tutorial. Uh, I wanted something really quick and short to the point. If you have any questions, hit me up. I'm always happy to help. All right, we are recording. Sweet. Let's see this. All right. So I'm demoing the token proof verifier. And on the other hand, I have my iPhone, which has the token proof consumer app. And we're going to be looking for a PO app in my wallet. And so I'm scanning the QR code. Now the verifier is looking for that PO app. And unfortunately, I do not hold the required PO app. So I'm going to select a different wallet. And I'm going to scan it. Oh, and hey. this one found it. And now you can get in. Now you're allowed. And now I can get 